Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. What's up? What's up? What we got in here. Mm -hmm. What's happening? Good evening. How are you? I'm just chilling. Been busy today doing animal stuff. Um, I'm good. I'm good. I got two more puppies gone today. Uh, I took my disabled puppy to the vet this morning. Turns out she had a hernia with a dead eye. They said the dead eye is not a problem. What's up, Pyro? How you doing, bro? Um, the dead eye, the problem, it doesn't need to be sewn up unless it starts giving her trouble. But I noticed when I picked her up, she had a, it was a hernia. And um, they were like, yeah, She's gonna have that fixed, so I posted it on the book of faces. Hey, uh, she's got some issues, yada, yada, yada. And then this afternoon, the late, this some lady out of nowhere hit me up and was like, I want her, uh, I lost my dog a couple months ago uh, to cancer. Took it down there to her, gave her a hell of a deal, and uh, everybody's happy. Turns out, when I pulled up in the yard, my mother used to live at that house. Pretty wild, pretty wild. So, uh, it's going, man. We just, we just, L I V I N, L I V I N. My face, my blood pressure is. I got to get my damn blood pressure. I've got to get my blood pressure medicine regulated because I don't know if it's the testosterone I'd be taking or I don't know what's going on, but I'm I'm pit stop red faced. Red faced pit stop. I'm an Indian man. So I don't know. Just uh Sitting here chilling, fed the kids. Just swinging. So, I gotta get out and feed the remainder of the dogs here in a little bit and get them settled and um, do it all again tomorrow. It, it, I thought the same thing when it went live. I was like, damn, I'm cherry face as hell. So, hang on, what did I say? <coughs> yeah, positive helps with blood prep. And people keep commenting on my ankles because I stand up, what, 10, 11 hours a day, and I've got varicose veins, and I wear 
dudes so people can see my legs I wear shorts and um, they're like your legs don't look good I was like no they don't but I just got so much going on right now I can't stop to but well and I'm driving down the road and my left side starts tingling so that's not a good sign either they say <laughs> yeah yeah they will my neighbors are weird anyway I don't know I got some that are they're in the same <laughs> all right so I'm we're all in the same tax bracket obviously if we're living in the same village or whatever there's only like seven houses on the street but I'm the only one that works at my house and then there's people that work for cities and schools and they I don't know they just act like they're better than me and I just sit over here and chill and I do my thing and whatever but it, it's funny and then we got another one over here he's a character too oh what up what up Hawthorne Rusty what is your email so I can talk to you about this uh, because I'm interested I, I um I think I emailed you one time, but I don't think I, I did the right thing, so. right I didn't think I did the right email address. I might have been a little inebriated when, uh, rusty truck dude, Gmail. Okay, all right. Yeah, there was no dude in there. I, I just rusty trucked. <coughs> so, yeah, I need some. I started doing testosterone about um, twenty weeks ago, and um, um, ever since then, well, at the time when I when I first started, I I don't know, I may have had COVID. I didn't check, but I couldn't talk for five weeks. But um, I probably had it. And then, but I was starting my testosterone weekly thing. And then, I don't know. So ever since I started this, my my blood pressure has been, like my face has been redder. So it's got something to do with that. Um, but no, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, um, I'll email you and you just tell me what to do. <coughs> So, anywho, what's going on on these streets today? I've been ripping and running. Somehow I got watching some dude in Florida redoing uh, diesel trucks that have been sitting in fields, like on a field road for years, getting them running and like... I don't know, I get zoned in on that, and I'm really intrigued by it. I don't even drive a 18-wheeler, but I like them, and I like to see something come back to life, so it's pretty cool. What's up, Damn Yankee? How are you? So, I don't know. That I think that's why I buy and sell a bunch of junk stuff that doesn't run, and I'll get it running, and Sometimes make a profit, sometimes break even. I don't know. I just love it. I've got a damn, I've got a dually right now that I don't have a lot of money in, and I'm not asking crazy money for it, but nobody's really hit me on it. Everybody's asking me if it's a dump bed because it's a flat bed. Democrat levels donate blood. Huh. So I'm. You're saying I'm so awesome, I need to give back to the community. 
Pretty much what you're telling me. Pretty much what you're telling me. Gotta give, gotta give it away, keep it. You know what I mean? That's what they say in those. Uh, that's what they say in those meetings. Give it away to keep it. Yeah, it's. I don't know. Like, I'm really busy during the day, but I love. Oh, okay. So I need to give him some of this, some of this, some of this juice, some of this love thunder. Maybe even give him a little, a little sample. I don't know. They do that in the same spot. I don't know. <coughs> I can ask him. Um. You know. Uh, <laughs> that just reminded me of the, what was that, uh, road trip. They stopped at that, that bank. That shit was hilarious. He was hitting on that dang nurse and she was, she, <laughs> funny. Pretty funny. Anyway. What, um, let's see. What's up, Hardcore? How you doing, bro? Just, we're talking crap. Puppies. Uh, testosterone and what have you. No, your uh, device is not fooling you. My face is as red as my hoodie. It happens. So, what's going on here? Oh, what's up, Christina Renee? How are you? Yeah, Pyro, I love it, keeps my mind going like. If I'm thinking about something while I'm working and it, it and then whenever this uh, project's complete, I'm really done with it. I'll sell it and move on to the next one. I don't care if it's a boat or a truck, car, whatever it is. I, I, I just like it's almost like a daydream. And I'm like, what is it going to be like when it's done? And when it's done, it's awesome. And then I'm like, all right, I'm done with it. Move on to the next one. Kind of like I did with this Tahoe this past time. I was sitting out here one night, and my buddy, his brother, owns a auction site. And I saw a thing on Facebook. He was had these miniature uh, excavators. And I got on his website for his auction company. I got to looking, and I hit recent auctions or live auctions and there was like five minutes left and I got this police car for like cheap super cheap I went over there the next day paid for it and, uh, and then my homeboy that does my shirts and my hats and stuff and he's like he calls me he said hey let's wrap this thing and just pay for the uh, material you can promote me I'll give it to you cheap and then and we did it and man it turned out really good, and then I got a thousand phone calls right after I raffled my crap. They're like, hey, man, I haven't talked to you in five years. I said, you want to raffle your car? And they're like, how'd you know? Wild guess. Wild guess. But I used a platform, all of these other race car pages to do the waffles and stuff like that. So it worked out. Nobody flagged me. So, anywho. Yeah, it, 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 um, it, it's like a sense of accomplishment. And, uh, I really wish that I had a shot where I could do it myself in the evening time. <clears throat> but, um, I don't at this point. I've got, 
I've got the land to build one, pole barn, to turn it into a, a garage. I just haven't done it. I've got other stuff going on that I need to get figured out before I do that. So um, I love being in just a garage setting. Just I'm just comfortable. Um, just hanging out. Not not. Not necessarily not doing anything. What's up, Cynthia? How are you? Um, it's just, uh, and I can maybe teach my kids something. Like right now, we have nothing to do in the evening time besides, you know, the normal food, watch a little TV, you know, uh, keep the house up or whatever. Um, I dang, um, I bought a bunch of magnet fishing stuff, and we've only went one time, but hopefully we'll get a good Sunday afternoon. Uh, yeah, definitely chill corner. Put a little music on, hang out. I mean, just tinker. Uh, get a little welder, show them how to weld stuff. Uh, Welcome, Miss Cynthia. Um, I don't know, just get out of the house and get out of the games and the phones and the Tic Tacs and the Yuba Tubas. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I love this community that we're all in. And I laugh at Jesus. It's the foot, like, I haven't laughed this much in a long time at a lot of this stuff. But, I would love to hang a damn uh, flat screen in my shop and listen to it while I'm doing something else. So, is the wind, can y'all hear the wind? Because the wind's blowing. Anyhow, oh, you can hear the wind. Okay, all right, cool. So I got rid of two of my golden retrievers today. Thank God. So I've only got a few left. I got one available, and. Uh, Hopefully me pushing this stuff out. I've got one lady that got one for her son that's down syndrome for his birthday and they're gonna do a, a really good video on it tonight and surprise him. So hopefully when they tag me in that, that will inspire somebody to purchase the last one that I have so I can get these dogs out of my life. There ain't, I mean, it's not that. The first three weeks were, um, it was pretty simple. And then these last three or four have been, because mm -hmm. I'm the only one that takes care of them. So um, I got to get out and sweep out the shavings and redo it, you know, feed them. So. All right, cool. But um, let's see. I cannot believe nobody has clipped that part of that live from the four hour live the other day from them riding around looking for eclipse glasses. And they roll up to this one store, and there's a box of free crap. And old girls over there like, Yun's, Yun's gonna like this. Yun's gonna like this. And he's like, yeah, babe. Yeah, babe. Get that thong. Get that thong. And uh, it's still got the tags on it. It's still got the tags on it. 
Oh, this is gold. Straight gold. Um, then she jumps back in the car with boxes of condoms. Still in, it was like, I guess it was like a, something from a CVS or something, but there's like big multi boxes, like four in a row with shrink wrap on them. There's, she got two of them. So there's like eight large boxes of condoms, rib, sensitive. They explained, she read them off. Well, she's almost 18, so we got to keep her safe and yada, yada, yada. I cannot believe. <clears throat> I text Mike. I said, bro, are you watching this? And he's like, no, what are you talking about? And I explained it. He said, hell no. And I said, dude, somebody's going to have a field day with this segment of this live. Not a word. But I know who's got, got it in the vault. Jesus. That right there. I about lost my crap. I was just. <laughs> I, I was eating lunch. Oh, speaking of which. Lunch. Alright. I ordered that factor box. Um, those meals are really good. So, go to your biggest YouTuber and put in their promo code and get it. So basically, I got, the first week I got eight meals for $67. So me and my buddy that I work with, I said, you want to do it? He said, yeah. I said, we can do it for like 30 bucks the first week, and then it'll be 100 the next week, which is $12 a meal, four meals. I spend more than that on DoorDash every day. I spend $15, $18. Anyway, so, but these meals are really good, and I don't know if it's my microwave or if they're a little off or whatever. They say two minutes, but it's like two minutes 17 seconds but the meals are, are really good with that factor and then you can add and get smoothies and stuff so I would definitely uh, check it out if you're tired of eating everything at lunch and you, you just they've got some different um, different stuff I mean it's pork chops and chicken and just but it's prepared a different way with penny pasta or tomatoes or whatever. It's good. It's really good. Yeah. It's definitely worth worth the money. Um, I mean, especially if you're spending more than $12 a day. Because about 11 o'clock, I said, Justin, what are we going to eat? I don't know. What do you want to eat? And then we'll end up getting like McDonald's, DoorDash, and it's like fifteen dollars a piece, and it's garbage. And this is this will fill you up, and it's good. And you get to choose. You get. To, I mean, they suggest your order, but you can go in and change it or whatever. And they've even got like filet mignon. And it's more expensive, but. I don't know about heating up a filet mignon in a microwave after being sent to me across the country, but everything's been good so far the past few days and I've had it, so I don't know. It's probably good. <coughs> anyway, let's see. Got them bushwashers in there. What's up, Cajun 21 dealer? Are you saying you work at a Louisiana uh, casino? Black check. Yeah. 
getting they're they're good they're like I don't know there's some cauliflower mixes in there that I, I'm not down with but I mean it's way healthier than the shit that I that I order off a of DoorDash 100% so just bring some ranch to work and pour it all over it so anywho oh, there's this sunshine ish Mm -hmm. I didn't say you were a drug dealer, a casino dealer. Casino. Almost, oh, you are a casino dealer. I can, I can spot them. I don't know. I just figured it out through your name. Well, and you can, <coughs> you can um, skip a week. Or, Adjust it. It's pretty. It's pretty good. It took about ten days to get. Well, it's just been kind of raining today. Um, well, about two o'clock, I got home and got me a little, got me a little uh, nugget of nap before the kids got off the bus, and I heard it was raining. And, got them off and settled we got the puppies and got them washed up and sold and um but now it's clear so maybe it's breaking i don't know <clears throat> so yeah i saw um somebody post on um Facebook about a, a nasty storm in uh, Louisiana and they tagged my, my Cajun buddy in it he's a um, he's a Katrina victim that moved up here and they tagged him in it uh, and he's like yeah I know that cop so Pretty cool. 24 dog. It's freaking out. My dad's lives in my Yeah, that's rough right there. Um, normally, if I can, um, normally, if I can't hear it, I'm out. I don't. Um, and there was, I, I rented a place a few years ago, and uh, my wife was like, uh, get up, come to the basement. It's right behind, it was like a half a mile behind us, a tornado, and, and I was out, sleep. Um, they were down in the basement with helmets on. Thank God that it didn't hit us, but I would have been through, so. Yeah, the storms are crazy. All right, so a buddy of mine that does a lot of tree work in my yard, he's taking a lot of trees out of my front yard, um, stump grind stuff. And he was he was at the shop the other day, and he was telling me that this year is going to be four times worse than it normally is. He does this tracker or something, and um, he got me on this uh, group or whatever the storm tracker group for 2024 and um he said normally in our area we'll have like four big storms in the season this year it's going to be 12 big storms so it's um it's going to be more massive but he's watching it because he's trying to chase some storms so he can make some money yeah it's um it's supposed to be really big this year and a lot of what's up michelle d how are you um a lot of these uh 
a lot of these guys follow this kind of stuff so they can run to Mississippi or wherever to um, to get that insurance money but um, I don't know y'all just be aware uh, check it out that stuff ain't nothing to play with for real <coughs> so I um, I'm really interested in what Rusty's got to tell me on this uh, blood pressure stuff this is interesting <coughs> so I don't know through some in here, okay. Where, where are you in Louisiana? They say, dang, Louisiana is freaking so humid, you can't even breathe. What up, what up, 815, baby, baby. Southwest Louisiana, 10 minutes from the coast. Let me, uh, let me catch a couch one weekend so we can go catch an alligator or uh, redfish or something. I ate snapper for the first time Sunday, and it was really good. Um, I don't know. Water too fast. You drink a lot of water, or are you saying something else? Southwest here, ground zero. Jeez, that's hard. To, like, I always say, like, people up north, I'm like, why do they live in that crap? Um, why would you live in snow most of the year? Why wouldn't you just come somewhere? But if it's your home, I get it. Um, you're just used to it, but people get fed up with it and just get the crap and get out of there. Um, I don't know. I watch a bunch of channels. They're like, yeah, we're down for the winter. snowing, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, man, 30s and 40s is the coldest that I want. It. Um, I can deal with that for a few days and we'll get back to 70. I'm not trying to freeze all winter. I love our redfish. I'm down, I am down to try new things, like, um, shut up, wind. <coughs> yeah, I don't know, um, if it almost kills me two or three times, I'm probably getting out of there. So. What's funny is, in my my little my little neighborhood, I'm kind of at a slope, and all my all my neighbors get to run off water off of my off of my driveway, and then there's a damn river in two of their driveways. It's pretty hilarious. Yeah. Um. I hear, damn Yankee, I hear it's almost tulip season up there from what I've seen on some of these people that I follow. But um, they did tulips down here like three or four weeks ago. Hang on, what? 
this water for seven days. You just start out at 24 hours a couple times. I've got I've gotten to where I'm drinking a whole lot more water these days than I used to. I used to I couldn't do it, but I, I'm drinking probably four or five bottled waters a day. Um, and uh, I can't drink water cold. It's got to be room temperature. But I'm I'll suck down a a 16 ounce quick uh, room temperature. And um, when I'm hot, I can drink cold water, but um, I don't know. As you get older, your, your body changes and the things that you used to not like changes. So I'm, uh, I never thought in a million years I would go to a, um, go to a restaurant and be like, uh, how are your uh, Brussels sprouts or uh, your what's the long ones the um, they're not Brussels sprouts they're they're like green beans but they're long I don't know. What, what are they called they're good what are they called asparagus yes asparagus yeah uh a grilled asparagus topped with blue cheese uh a dabble of blue cheese and butter oh my god that's heaven yeah i like water too room temperature man aspar a grilled asparagus with a blue cheese topper well that's hard to beat it's really good. It really is. Uh, yeah, asparagus is bumping. <coughs> um, Sparkle water, squeeze the lemon and leather. So, what have we covered? Puppies, weather, asparagus, blood pressure. Um, I like some zucchini now. Um, I like some grilled zucchini and some grilled squash. Um, with some of that zest seasoning salt something like that or whatever <clears throat> um, pretty good yeah I love a I love a grilled mushroom with a little um, Dale sauce on it Room temperature is the way to go. Room temperature is the way to go. All right, so I I will knock a whole igloo bowl or uh, whatever that snaps on the top, a whole bowl of it. Olive Garden dressing with. Why is my, my mind going away? Cu cucumbers. Oh my goodness. I can wear them out. I can wear them out. I love it. I can almost drink that Italian dressing from um, Olive Garden. It's really good. And you marinate them in chicken too before you put them on the grill. God, that's so good too. So good. All right, I'm gonna jump off here. 
my cigars done. I hope y'all have a great night. We'll do this again. And think of more grilled bacon wrap jalapeno stuff and cream chicken. You better shut your mouth is what you need to do. All right. So what you got to do with those grilled, those jalapenos, after you get all the shit out of them, you got to soak them in ice water to de-heat them. What you, all right, so another thing is after, another way I like to make them is do that, soak them in ice water, deheat them, and then you get like some kind of brisket and cream cheese and then some regular cheese and you mix all that shit up and you put it in there and then bacon wrap them. That's a freaking fire right there. A brisket, like a, something you get, it. you don't have to make your own brisket. Something you can get at the grocery store like a Country Bob's or a, something already pre-made that you can just heat up. You mix it with the cream cheese and then the regular cheese and put it in that jalapeno and wrap it up in the bacon and then cook it. Man, that's some pressure right there. Pressure! So, y'all have a good night. I'm going to get off here and i got to wash some clothes and do some more puppy stuff. So, y'all have a great night, man. Thank y'all for j joining and had fun talking be careful with these storms and uh cajun 21 if uh you happen to get blown away find yourself with a couple bags full of chips i'll come get them y'all have a good night